Hey everybody, how are you doing tonight? My name is Greg Bach and, and thank you for joining me for uh, Ghost Box Live Experimental Sessions. And uh, tonight we're going to we're going to try something I think I'm, I'm kind of excited about. I'm excited to be uh, reaching out and maybe we can try to uh, talk with uh, uh, Jackie Gleason tonight um, and see, what's, see what we can do there. So uh, I'm just a little confused at the moment because it looks like that I'm, on, I'm streaming on Things Network, but I'm wondering, are they are the other shows still going on? Uh, Fear fans, I, I thought that they're done at 10. So I'm a little confused by that, uh, seeing them still live. Um, so I, I've been trying to figure out that kind of stuff just kind of makes me like wonder what's going on. Uh, so like I said, we're going to try to reach out to... Uh, Jackie Gleason tonight. Uh, the Ovilus has been going off quite a bit, but there might be a reason for that. So we're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, I'd like to first ask everybody to please uh, share, 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 please. I would really appreciate it. Uh, you know, send out to whomever and share and uh, like, let's just let everyone know. Okay. Um, because if we can reach out to him tonight, that would be pretty cool. So I just, I feel like that, uh, you know, he has such a very, uh, a very distinctive voice that I would think that um, he, he should be very, very clear to, uh, to see uh, if he's coming through. If people, there might be some people who don't know who he is. He actually passed away in uh, 1987. And uh, he best known for the series, uh, The Honeymooners. And uh, from there, uh, he, uh, <laughs> uh, that's Smoking the Bandit, isn't it? And uh, there is just a lot of, uh, of uh, you know, it's just so obvious when you get him. Kind of sounds like Fred Flintstone or Fred Flintstone sounds like him, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on here? A couple of things that I want to talk about real fast here. First of all, if you missed it, um, go check out uh, Charvinity tonight. We had a very good discussion on uh, manifesting uh, positivity, all that good stuff. And I'm really excited about uh, the conversation that we had and everybody who took part in it. That sort of thing is really exciting to me. I absolutely love it. And uh, everyone was really excited and we all had a great conversation about it. So I just um, I just want to share it with you all. If you haven't had a chance, watch it. It's really positive, talking about how to manifest what you want. And uh, I just, I just, um, I think that it's it's well worth. Uh, so definitely uh, check it out. Um, Jeremy, I'm just curious, is the other show still going on at Things or are they done now? I just didn't know if I'm on at the wrong time tonight or if we're overlapping for a reason, if you're still there. Oh, Mr. Ovilus, you're going crazy. There might be a reason for it though. Also, uh, let's see, what else do I wanna talk about here tonight? Uh, tonight, a couple things. Please join Char this Sunday in Ghost Box Radio. Uh, we have on Renee Evans, a natural nurse solutions, and she's a psychic medium. Char will be guest hosting for me. I am actually going to be at a convention this weekend talking about Doctor Who, talking about British television, talking about paranormal. I am one of their guests. And so we're going to have a really fun time out there. It's called Council Room. And uh, if you are local to me, uh, come and check it out. Uh, for those of you who know Doctor Who, uh, one of the uh, guests that are going to be there this weekend, is, her name is Sophie Aldridge. She plays the character Ace. And uh, it, it's going to be a fun time. It's a really nice convention. A lot of, they, they take a lot of care into making sure everyone's having a good time. Uh, it's, it's not a huge convention either. I mean, we're probably talking under 500 people, which is really... You know, I, I wish that they had more because I want them to succeed. But at the same time, I know that what they want to do is uh, that they want to be able to have, um, you know, a, kind of that Minnesota feel to it. So that's what um, that's what we 
have. Let's see, what else do I want to talk about here real fast? Um, might as well start talking about this now for those local. Um, Ghost Stories and Beyond is our uh, Shar and my uh, monthly get together at Billy's in Noka, Minnesota. And uh, we, with the one for January, which got postponed, uh, we have uh, Dave Schrader, and that's actually been moved to a different time. You had to buy tickets for that, and those have been sold out for a while. But uh, this coming February 1st, this one's open to everybody. And it's over at the, we, we did an investigation over at the Grant House in Rush City, Minnesota. And uh, we took, the folks who take have taken our class and uh that was pretty cool actually because we got some stuff that um we we never we never got before uh it, it is it was truly a profound experience for me and for shaw and for everyone else uh the obelisk just said raw and i think that the reason why that was it, it was very touching and what happened was every kind of every sort of way of investigating kind of came through in those 18 minutes from shadows to spirit box to other uh devices people someone was channeling and what she was channeling was matching the spirit box um it was uh uh touching and this is all in the span of 18 minutes and it took the whole every floor in the hotel all three floors um actually four floors because it's the basement as well it's there is nothing like it there is literally nothing like it and it was uh it was spectacular and it's really hard to put into words we got some amazing evps we got some amazing spirit body, and everything is linked together meaning that the stuff that's on the evps will link to it's the stuff that's on the spirit box that's linking to the stuff that's on uh, the channeling. The channeling took place on a different floor than the spirit box. None of the stuff took place together. And then to make it all kind of come together, we got some outside uh, uh, facts to to co corroborate with everything that we got. And this is all in the span of 18 minutes. Honestly, I think I think for those who can make it, it's it's going to be um, absolutely uh incredible so please consider if you are local please consider doing it and uh please consider um uh joining us ten dollars per person there's a full bar there's a full restaurant uh that ten dollars does not cover that but <clears throat> you're gonna have this group of very talented investigators who hadn't had done it only a few times uh be able to share with you some great 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 experience um and uh just if you know it you know it that is absolutely we can connect him with him absolutely you're you and i are on the same page there so uh one of the things that i had promised on sunday that i would do is have something else on the table and let's take a look to see tonight what we have going on here so uh it looks a little bit different tonight i am not touching the table at all tonight because uh the the spirit bottle will move very easily and we have to be very careful with vibration so that the vibration does not give us a false positive okay so and now i have a light behind the bottle because you couldn't really see the pendulum in it and so we want to see we want to make sure that we can see what is going on okay um, so that is why I have that big light there and it's so much brighter on camera than it is over here, but I'm not going to touch the flashlight and went on, uh, and went off and went on again. I'm not touching it because I don't want to touch the table. And you can also see the bell. The REM pod itself has been removed because by the light, it was setting it off. Okay. But we have the other REM pod that's shaped um, as, as a lantern. Now you can also see um, that the obelisk is going crazy. And I'm wondering if the obelisk is going crazy because of the light. So, you know, I'm, I'm, maybe this isn't the right way to do it, but I say that uh, 
we uh, well, hello. You, you and I, we've been together all night, haven't we? Um, and same with Brad, seeing Brad on here, seeing John on here. Um, the thing is, is we're going to do like a kind of uh, kind of an a la carte, right? If there's words that fit what we're trying to do tonight, we're going to take it. And if there's words that um, uh, that don't match them, we're not going to take it. But I don't know. I don't know if the light is causing the ovulus to react. I'm kind of wondering if that's the case, but we'll see. I was going to grab the picture of Ernie to show everybody. I didn't want to scare Jackie Gleason away, though. Well, we'll 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 put we'll show everyone the the photo on Sunday. Oh, I'm not going to be here Sunday. That's right. Sunday is my birthday, and uh, I'm not going to be here. No, no spirit box on Sunday. Um, <clears throat> so, that being said, a couple other things on the table. Like I said, from the far left corner. There is a REM pod that uh, D's Ghost put together, and um, that is uh, looks like a lantern. Then you have a, a bright light, and then you have the Ovilus 4, right? Right there. Then going to the other side, you have the bell, which we're hoping will, will move. And uh, we also have, right next to it, from Crack Skull Paranormal, we have yes and no boxes. That's the yes. Did I hit the? I think I hit the table for goodness sake. Um, and then we have the no next to it. Okay. Uh, the Ovilus says, Jackie. No, it doesn't. It says, seen, S E E N, Tim, T I M, and uh, Betty. B-E-T-T-Y, which I know Annette's going crazy right now. Probably Betty White. If it's Betty White, can you turn something on for us, please? Because, hey, all the more the merrier is what I say. Uh, so I know that Annette's all about Betty White. So that's kind of what what I'm uh, kind of talking Hey, you're the one that, I mean, I, I figured I'd beat you to it. It says Betty right on there, right? Um, it's actually kind of funny, uh, Pam, because uh, it is the same. It has a table behind it. The, the light is drawing the, the brightness away from the camera, and it, the table is still behind it. It's just, it's just kind of an illusion at the moment. Um, um, did it blink? Because I didn't, I didn't notice that, but I, I wasn't really paying attention. I'm really good at this, right? Row, R-O-W. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else we have here to, that we should talk about. Um, can you make, and who made that blink before? Can you make it blink again, please? That's right. It was. I remember that. I remember that. Well, happy. So I, I, I think I wrote it. I think I posted it to you, but happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Um, let's see here. Um, okay. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we, let's see what we come up with, right? So like we said before, no, Betty White didn't say that. Okay. Just, just, let's just be very clear about that um <clears throat> turn the flashlight off if you don't like me giving uh giving annette a, a lovingly hard time keep the flashlight on if you're okay with me giving annette a lovingly hard time here we go um let's see Um, I, I am heading towards an age that I really don't, 
want to get to. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because that gives really the wrong impression. I, uh, but it's like, you, you know, a number of us, right? We, we get to a, uh, uh, a time where it's like in, when you're younger, there's like an age that you're like, I think that's old. And now you're hitting it and you're like, it's not that old. It's fine. We're good. We're all good over here. Um, so we're, we're getting. How old do you think I am, Annette? You gotta be careful asking questions like that. Yeah, is that is that what you think it is? No, 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 no need to be no need to be rude. Just because Betty White is okay with me giving you the business. Hit 40 this year. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am not this age, but I am going to be one year away from it. I will, I will be 49 on Sunday. So that's how that works. So that's, um, we're, we're in good company, Denise. We are in good company. And then when I asked how old Ernie was, this is what Annette did. And I think this is rude. I think that was uncalled for, but you know, that's how people are on the internet, I guess. So that's how that works. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's just, uh, <laughs> oh, um, see Jackie Gleason. We have fun here. We have, we have fun here. Uh, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun show. Now, remember, this is, this is what we're trying to get to tonight, right? We are trying to reach out to, uh, Mr. Jackie Gleason and, uh, Jackie, uh, you know, I don't, I'm, we're not here to exploit you. We just want to hear your voice. Talk to us for a little bit, please. I hold in my hand here what you can use to uh, talk to us. You can use me as the conduit and your voice can come out here as a speaker. Um, a lot of stuff we'd love to talk to you about. Over here, there is something on a chain in the bottle you can make that move. There's a bell over there. You can make that move. You can you can help us in any way you can to communicate. I just watched an interview with you on the Johnny Carson show, the one that you did back in 1985. And I've always been mesmerized by you, to be honest, because you are the real deal. You lived your life how you wanted to live it. You were you were good to people and you you stood up for what you wanted to do and I admire that I truly do and I'm hoping that um you will talk to us all right well have a good night Denise thank you so much for um for stopping by and forgive us a lot of us are hoping that you do come through and that we're gonna ask you to say certain things because we loved how you would say it. And there's so many things that you have said that, um, you know, either catchphrases from the honeymooners or just things that you would say yourself and just would really like to talk to you about a few things. And uh, honestly, I, once again, that was thinking the same thing, Joseph, that is like, is he able to play pool upstairs, right? Something, something knocked over there. You know, what I was going to grab was, um, I'm going to have it. I was going to grab, uh, some, uh, some jack actually just to uh, just as a trigger object i could grab this or this um have it out here if uh 
Mr. Gleason, if you'd like to have a drink, I can pour you something. I think that you liked whiskey, but we can ask you that. We can ask you ask you what you like. Let's let's do it, right? Um, I did protection. Was it scotch, Annette? That actually sounds about right. I don't have any scotch. Um, I did protection. Um, take a moment to protect yourselves. And let's see what we come up with. Let's have some fun. Like we always say, there's no guarantee of response. But um, let's see what we can do. Let's let's do this for a while. If we're not getting anything, um, then we don't get anything. But we're here to try. And this is what it's all about, kind of pushing that boundary a little bit. And Mr. Gleason, if you could talk to us tonight, I think I think if you could see what I'm seeing, there's a lot of fans here. There's a lot of people who like you and miss you. And I am certainly one of them. Cut flowers, which is interesting because that's a sentence. Cut flowers. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Mr. Gleason, trying to reach out, trying to reach out to Mr. Jackie Gleason. Hello, do you hear that? Hello, we're just a bunch of fans over here. We were hoping, we were hoping to be able to talk to you. We were hoping to be able to uh, uh, get, you know, bug you about the honeymooners, some of your greatest catchphrases. You know, we just want to be able to just say hello. We have some questions. Mr. Gleason, are you here? Whoa. I'm here. Did you hear that? Thank you. Well, let me just say, can you can you tell us how sweet it is? We got more words for the audience. Team and industry. That's one of the things that I always love you is that you, how sweet it is. Can you do that for me, please? I don't think that's Jack, please. Mr. Gleason, we are such big fans of the Honeymooners. Yes, we are. Where would you, where would Ralph Cramden always want to send Alice?
where where would Ralph Cramden want to always send we always want to send Alice um some some friends here had some questions for you and uh are you able to still play pool Enjoy that role. Are you no longer interested in talking with us? We love to share buffer T justice. people here tonight that just adore you and miss you. I mean, honestly, Mr. Gleason, would you have thought that your legacy still lived on after you left? I mean, you've been you've been uh, off the earth here for uh, almost 40 years now. 38 years. And yet, the honeymooners, honeymooners is still, still widely regarded as one of the best sitcoms of all time. <laughs> On the obelisk, adultery was W A S and then ghost G H O S T adultery was and ghost can anybody hit the pendulum in the bottom move please like really get it to move Mr. Gleason Oh, 
almost almost okay. like sound like someone said to me no one here mr gleason do you still visit all the all the hangouts that you used to go to Did I offend him with the whiskey? Obvious. However, someone just said, how are you doing? Mr. Gleason, is Art Carney with you? over at the table um, did the did the rem pod go off or something also donna are you still here donna if you're still here can you let me know please Gleason, Mr. Gleason, I can do. I can do. How many spirits are in here with me right now? I feel like we're getting a lot of voices. To the box. And the reason why I keep asking for Donna, I saw Donna Lewis on here. I keep hearing Donna's name to the box. That's exactly what I'm about to do. Same page. Mr. Gleason, did Nixon show you a real UFO? <laughs> I thought I heard someone say no. <laughs> Mr. Gleason, I'm going to ask you again. If there's only one question you will answer for me tonight, can you, can you answer? But I think we all heard the same thing. But I'm going to ask you again. The word face, face just came through. Okay, we all heard the same thing. It was like, no. But I'm going to ask one more time. Mr. Gleason, did President Nixon ever show you a real UFO? Thank you. 
Because that's something all of us have in common with you is we were so interested in ufology. Are you able to communicate with them now? So he did. Look at all of you heard that. I did not hear that, but you all independently, because you're all not you're not building off of each other. You all put it up on the screen at the same time. He did. Maybe he needed to know that we were all into it. At first he said no. And then maybe once he knew that he was amongst like minded people, he's like, okay, yes. I did. Are you able to communicate with aliens now? Now that you have passed? Already object molecules. Mr. Gleason, do you like talking to that device over there with the word? If that's you, could you put a couple more words up, please? And when when you were when you were on the earth with us, did you actually see a, an alien? Fun night, isn't it? Mr. Gleason, now that you are uh, past, if you will, uh, are you still as interested in life forms on other planets? I thought I saw a light anomaly down there. You like hanging around here? Okay. Mr. Gleason, did you die from throat cancer? you would have lived, would you have ever considered playing Ralph Cramden again with the rest of the cast and done, done any more honeymooners? Would he, have, would he have done it again? I 
think everybody would have loved to have seen that. I'm sure, as you know, uh, Joyce Randolph is still alive to play Trixie. Good night. Do you, ever, do you ever visit Joyce Randolph? I don't think I do. Like I do. Do you still perform? Heard, yeah. Yeah, I thought so too. You know, can I just say what an honor it is for us to have you with us? I don't think we can express it enough. Is it possible? We have we have friends on here. Good night, Annette. We have friends on here who would love to hear you say, say bang, zoom. Can you do that? Can you do that for us, please? Bang, zoom. No bang zoom. Not going to send Ellis to the moon tonight. Mr. Gleason, what's your favorite role? What was the most favorite thing that you've done? <clears throat> I think it is. I just do. Stop. Can you just scream out Norton's name? Or can you call somebody a blabbermouth? Just thinking about it, Mr. Blazon, it makes me laugh. No one could do that except you in terms of saying those things the way that you said them. There will never be anyone like you again. Not even close. <laughs> right? It almost sound like Norton, but not like in the way that you would say it. Yeah, one in a million. And the way that you were able to, like in the 50s and 60s, the way that you would dance and that, you know, being a, being a, a larger person, you just did it so effortlessly, almost like you're on air, just like you were just floating. It's funny, there was like that episode where, wow, like I miss him. Did you hear that? and sound like him again. Or I missed it. Maybe I miss it. I sound like I miss it. You miss it? We miss you.
cool. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Mr. Gleason, what was the name of the uh, the the group that uh, Ralph Cramden and Norton were a part of? Their men's club. What was what were their names? What was the name? I think you actually said it. Yeah, secret organization. No wives allowed. Wives, I said. So, if I were to ask you to talk to me again, what kind of booze should I have available for you? What happened? He might have, but I know that he loved he loved his hard liquor. He loved his hard liquor. Did you like scotch? The word quick just came on the obelisk. Mr. Gleason, would you talk to us again sometime? Sounds good to me. Mr. Gleason, if we reach out to you again, could, can you bring, like, our carny with? So very much for talking with us. And thank you so much for making us making us laugh and making us happy just by you, just by seeing you. You are truly the great. All right. Obelis is saying running. Shut the session down in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, what about that? That was interesting, wasn't it? We are closing the session. Any spirits uh, that have uh, come through, uh, you are not allowed to communicate with us again until we open up the circle again. Um, that was really interesting. Um, 
this is good because nothing moved. And I actually am happy about that in a sense because it really was the, the pendulum was moving before we started. And I just figured it was due to um, movement, vibration. And I stand with that. I still think that that's just vibration. But um, that's what we had going on there. So that's a little bit different tonight. And uh, the spirit bottle there uh, that you see was gifted to me by Greg Koss. Um, when I saw him uh, at the Anderson House in November of 2021, uh, we he brought that to me as a gift. And uh, of course, I was immediately nervous because I was three hours away from home and uh, I had a glass, I had a bottle that I had to try to make sure I got back without breaking it. And we did it, did it just fine. So thank you, Greg, for that very much. Uh, everything else, I think that we got him. I do think that we got him tonight. And um, that was fun. That was really fun. Um, and it doesn't mean that we can't try again, right? That we can try to um, reach out to him at some point down the line again and see if we can get him. What do you all think of that? Now, as a quick reminder, everyone, uh, please support Shar on uh, Sunday as she takes over the show for a week and talks with Renee Evans. Uh, it's going to be a great conversation. I am. I think it's going to be really good. And then, of course, uh, go check out our pages for our for Shar's show tonight. Her and I talked about manifesting, and that was a really that was a really fun and and I think very informational for all of us. And we're going to do more of those uh, type of things. And then locally, uh, Ghost Stories and Beyond returns February 1st, and it's going to be a tremendous episode or tremendous, whatever, tremendous time. You can tell I think we're all getting tired here. Um, and uh, good, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. And I certainly think you're right there. Um, I, think, I think that we should try Lucy someday. I th I'm another one I'm very, very... Uh, you know, very infatuated with, to be honest. So I am not going to be on Sunday at, for either the radio show or for Ghost Box Live, but um, we will, I should be on Tuesday unless I'm just too tired from the weekend. So we'll play it by ear. Also, uh, we're gearing up for the new year of Living Paranormal, which is our uh, par live paranormal investigations. I have the first location figured out probably be either in February or March that we're going to start up again. And we have some locations outside of Minnesota as well as in Minnesota. So we got, we got a lot of fun coming up. So living paranormal, uh, definitely make sure that you can uh, watch some of those. Um, please support Char next week or this coming Sunday and everyone. Thank you all so very much for everything as always. Uh, if you need to uh, please send me your friend request and we can talk or whatever you need. And we'll just we'll just uh, have we'll just have a fun time. Thank you all so very much for uh, taking part, and I will see you all later. Take care, everybody. Have a good week. Mm -hmm.